Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Isabella's Quick Recipes. Today, we are making a Basque Gâteau. I didn't know what this was until a few days ago. I saw it at work and I actually tried it twice. The first time I had it cold, I thought it was okay. I was like, this is cool, nothing that special about it. But the second time, I had it warm right out of the oven. The baker took it out and was like, here, try this. This is for us to have. And I took a bite and I was just like, Mm. Ah, this is one of the best things I've ever had in my life. So I had to quickly do a video on it because this dessert was just life changing. So to start off, we need to make a pastry cream. To make a pastry cream is very easy. We just need to warm up some milk. This needs to become cold though, so we're gonna start this off first. This is three cups of milk into a little saute pan. While the milk is heating up, I'm gonna take some eggs and I'm just gonna use the yolk. Put them in a bowl and we're gonna temper these egg yolks with all the sugar and cornstarch and that warm milk. If we were to just add the eggs straight to the hot milk, it will scramble them. So we wanna do this slowly. We wanna slowly warm them up. This is one half cup of sugar, one third cup of cornstarch, a quarter teaspoon of salt, and this is vanilla bean paste. You don't have to use vanilla bean paste. I just like it for looks. I don't even think it makes that big of a difference in taste. Once you see the milk starting to kind of simmer and froth up like it's about to boil, you're gonna turn this off. Bring it over here to your eggs and slowly pour it in while whisking. Do not stop whisking. Now that the eggs are warmed up, we're gonna add it back to this little pot and just continue cooking it for two more minutes until it thickens. Okay, see how it thickens so fast? Turn off the heat. And this is the butter. This is six tablespoons of butter. Just mix this in and it's gonna make it so rich and silky smooth. And voila guys, pastry cream is ready. Now I'm gonna sieve this just to catch any of the little egg pieces that may have scrambled. And you want this to become fully cooled before we put it inside the pastry shell. So I'm gonna put it in this shallow dish and pop it in the fridge. You can make this the night before and that way you could just have it ready the next day. And that is it. You're gonna put some plastic wrap on top of this because a film does form once it cools, a very thick film. So you don't want this, the film to like become clumpy in the pastry cream. Now that the pastry cream is in the fridge chilling, we're gonna make the pastry dough. This is really easy. Here I have two cups of flour and I'm gonna mix it with some sugar, baking powder and salt. Just mix these together and get them well incorporated. And then we're going to just add some room temp butter. Here I have a whole egg and an egg yolk. I'm gonna get in there and mix this with my hands. You could do this in your standing mixer, it's a lot easier. But for me, it's fine to just do it really quickly like this. And this pastry dough with the custard, you can add a fruit filling. This typically takes like a cherry preserves on the bottom. You can make like a sour cherry preserves or add any type of fruit filling. And to me, like the raspberry one would taste pretty similar to like a Swedish princess cake. I'm gonna take half of this dough ball. Actually, I'm gonna take a little more than half. The bigger piece is gonna go on the bottom of this tart pan. Here I have a tart pan. You could use any kind of pan. This one, the bottom comes out. But you could use a cake pan if you like. It doesn't necessarily have to be this pretty design. I think I've only used this tart pan like once the whole time I've had it. Roll of rope like that, and then we're gonna just press it on the edges of the pan. Take the remainder of the dough and just spread it out so you have a nice thin layer. Pop this in the fridge to chill just while we roll out our top half. Okay guys, we're gonna take our shell and here I have all my cool pastry cream.
Here I have one egg yolk. And now for the fun part, take a fork and you're just gonna make a little design on top. You can make any design you like. I'm gonna go like this, just on the edges, one across. Look how pretty, guys. I'm gonna bake this for about 55 minutes at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. You guys, it's ready. Oh my god. This thing looks crazy. Ooh, it's so pretty. To finish this off, we're gonna do a few final touches. So here I have some apricot preserves and I put a little in a bowl and popped it in the microwave so that it gets nice and gooey. I'm gonna just glaze the top of this and it's gonna give it that beautiful sheen. And there we have it guys. Let's go ahead and slice it open. All right guys, and now for the moment that we have all been waiting for, it's taste test time. Look at the middle. Beautiful custard. Oh my God, it, it's so soft. This thing is like pillowy soft. Serve this room temp. Allow it to sit for maybe like two hours because right now it's just piping hot out of the oven. But don't serve this chilled because when I had this chilled, I didn't like it as much as when it was warm. Cheers. Mmm, this tastes better than the one from my work. It's so light and delicate and buttery. And did you guys see how easy this was to make? You could bring this to any holiday party this season and be like, I brought you this French gâteau basque. <laughs> And everyone's gonna be like, ooh, she's so fancy. How did she make it? And did you see? I already had all the ingredients on hand. I didn't even have to go to the store to get anything. Now, if you guys enjoyed this recipe, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Leave your comments down below if you try it out. And as usual, stay tuned for more quick and easy recipes, all of them always with a unique twist. <laughs>